Hi, I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building in Columbia, Missouri, and today we are at our Hilltop Aero Project, and I wanted to answer a question that we get all the time, and it has to do with air barrier. So let's talk about what the air barrier is on this building. Uh, the product you're seeing right here is just standard zip sheathing. We are uh, taping it to the foundation, or we are liquid flashing it to the foundation. We are detailing it in the, the panel. We're not worried about nail heads that are uh, not overdriven. Obviously, if they're overdriven fasteners, we're replacing them with another fastener and patching that hole. Uh, but that gets us all the way up to the top plate. When we look at what our assembly is here, basically we have whatever sealed us to the concrete, the zip sheathing and its tape or its liquid flash, and then we're ready to move up top. So right now, we're in the garage part of this build, and this garage is not worried about air sealing. So technically, I lied to you. The backside of the zip sheathing here that we were just looking at is just water barrier in this case, but you'll see in a minute where we're, where we're headed with this. The reason we're starting here is I wanted to show you the detail up at the top plate. That is a standard detail where we have a raised heel truss uh, that we can get a little bit more insulation, and then we have that hurricane tie tied to the top plates top plates or the studs are underneath that everything stacks everything's secured all the way down but the problem is if we're going to use drywall on the ceiling in here as our air barrier how does that drywall connect to this zip sheathing how does the continuity connection how do we make sure that we're one continuous shape through and through from the outside of that end and how do we handle those hurricane ties? I want you to follow me upstairs real quick and we'll, uh, we'll look at what it looks like on a section of the house that is air sealed. Come with me. So this little piece right here is our connection. This is a, in our case, this is a piece of subfloor, leftover three quarter Advantech. Uh, this piece goes to the outside of the sheathing. We are zip taped from the sheathing onto the Advantech, and then you'll note our seams are taped here. This puts our trusses sitting three quarters of an inch up. And that ability to be three quarters of an inch up from here gives us an opportunity to strap our trusses. So if you frame on the east coast, you know what strapping looks like. It's three quarter by you know two inch straps running every 12 inches. That gives better support to our drywall. It gives us the ability to flatten everything off. You know, if there's any variation in our trusses. And this is our connection point to elevate to the same point that we have our uh, strapping. So our air barrier is now from the foundation, two floors to right here. At this point, we're transitioning to drywall as our air barrier. The drywall will mount here. The interesting thing about mounting to here, we also eliminate or uh, reduce the amount of truss uplift that causes drywall cracking in this inside corner. But for us, we're gonna run two beads of acoustical sealant along this length here, and then when the drywall gets screwed in place, that drywall is now sealed with those two beads of sealant to this Advantech that's taped and rolled and sealed to this zip sheathing on the outside. Now, if you paid attention a second ago when we were downstairs to those hurricane ties, we have another issue. So follow me once again. we make that hurricane tie connection if we've blocked off that spot and the answer is a uh, truss screw and this truss screw when paired with the new gun that we got from fasten master I can now install those from the ground uh, the beauty of that is now I don't have to go up and down the ladder to make all those connections uh, now, I checked and we're able to use that screw in conjunction with the uh, three-quarter Advantech because we did lengthen that. Uh, you need to check with your code officials because it depends on what wind zone you're in because that's an uplift issue. But now we have the ability to fasten that from the ground. We don't have to have a ladder and a positive placement gun like we did downstairs. And here, we now have that air barrier connection. So. That's a super simple method to get to drywall on the ceiling. One of the other arguments that we get when we talk about this assembly is, well, what happens if that drywall cracks? 
going to say it probably will crack and it probably won't be enough to affect the air leakage numbers of a house that was already at passive house levels of uh, standards of air leakage. So I think that this is a great system. I think that we're using zip sheathing that we we're already using for water management, zip tape that we we're already using for water management, drywall that we we're already using for a ceiling. And all that we've done is we've added strapping and this Advantech and their benefits besides air sealing are we've reduced truss uplift and now 7,000 pounds of insulation that's in our ceiling can be on 12 inch on center framing instead of 24 inch on center framing and I didn't have to change that much about my house. So I think that we've engineered a system here uh, with Steve Basic that we're using the things that we already wanted to use and we're just double duty on some things. So thanks for watching on today's episode of The Build Show. Don't forget to check out Steve Basic, Brent Hole, Wade Paquin, and the illustrious Matt Reisinger. They're putting out videos every week on The Build Show Network. I'm so happy that they asked me to be involved. I really love learning from those guys as well. I get something out of it. I actually watch our, our videos. So uh, until next time, I'm Jake Bruton for The Build Show. Thanks for watching.